In DocAv Report Center, certain reports are visible right within the platform interface, and other reports need to be exported in order to be able to be viewed. Let's take a look at a couple of each. If I go into DocAv, to Report Center, into Usage Reports, and up at the top we click Create, we'll see that we can target an individual scope. In this case, I'll use an on-premises farm. And if I expand down one of my web applications and select a, uh, a site collection, in this case, the root site collection, we can then see some of the different elements of the report that we can include. In this case, I'll select some things around user activity. And then we click Next. On the next screen, we give it a name and an optional description if necessary. And I'm going to include all of my users. Next. Would you like to export the report? If we set yes, it will prompt us to provide a schedule and a location to do the export. You can see here, export location. These can be configured ahead of time on the settings tab, so that one is already here from the dropdown. Or you could configure it now on the fly. Export locations can be UNC paths and things like SharePoint uh, libraries. In this case, though, I'll say no. That means that I would have to either export it later, manually, or I can view its contents within DocAv itself. We're not going to receive specific notifications for any of the things we checked, because we're really just interested in viewing the report here. We'll click Next. We get an overview of all of our selections. And I'm going to save and generate the report. It will warn me if the particular report requires anything that would pull from SharePoint um, audit logs, it will tell me if you haven't already configured the audit controller, I'm going to turn that on so we can start collecting that data. So we'll just click OK. When we return back to this page, I can see here is my new plan that I just created user activity. And if I expand that, we can see the three bits of data that we told it to actually collect and include in the report. Now to view this information, any of this information, I can select it and up at the top, click on show report. This is provided the report generation has finished. And so we can see directly here in DocAv that reports information over time. And you have some filters that you can use up at the top to change what the report is showing. If I close that, I return back out to that previous screen. I can, of course, also select that entire uh, report and all of its data and click Show. And now I can move through those three different types of uh, data bits by clicking on this drop down up at the top left. And the filters may change based on that. If I wanted to now, I could export this report as well. Now, other types of reports will not display anything for you directly within DocAv, and therefore you must export them. One of those reports would be on the administration tab, the configuration report. The configuration report gives you information at all the different levels uh, of the SharePoint hierarchy. So I can expand and expand and so on and target content databases and site collections if I choose to. If I select the entire web app, then it will let me drill down from that level or lower and pick and choose what kind of information it is that I want to see. So as an example, if I want to see site collection level info, Right, and I can click through the specific categories. You can see the kind of information it's going to gather for you. Really nice report for documenting settings and configurations at various levels. Once I've selected the scope and what I want to see, it asks me if I want to use a scope filter. That would be useful for lower levels. Uh, as an example, if I wanted to target specific site collections without having to expand out and select their names, I could build a scope filter in a separate screen and uh, use it to look at metadata, so site collections of a specific age, for instance. And we can also put it on a schedule. Now, when I click on configure the schedule myself, 
you'll see that putting it on the schedule opens up something else at the bottom, which is my export report settings. The logic here is that this kind of report does not show in DocEv. So whether you set up a schedule or not, you will need to export it either manually with no schedule or export it on a schedule in order to be able to review its contents. So if I tell this to run tonight overnight while I'm home, and I can tell it run maybe once a day, or once a week if I don't think configuration changes all that much. We then go down to our export settings and we need to pick an export location. Again, you could have set this up ahead of time uh, if need be or could create it now. If everything looks good, then up at the top I can click on save profile and run report to save the profile. You want to give it a name. So I'll call it SC settings or maybe I'll intranet sc settings save profile and run report since this is the first time it's exporting it wants me to manually select here where to go and we click ok and the job will kick off you can now go into the job monitor to watch that job actually carry through if necessary or it could come back in a little bit and once it's done navigate out to that export location to see the report if you're not sure where that export location is, we go to the settings tab, we click on export location, select it, and then view its information. And you can see in this case, I've got a UNC path.